The CreateJS Toolkit for Flash Professional CS6 is an extension that allows us to publish animated content to HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for playback in modern browsers without the need for Flash Player to be installed. This is especially useful in browsers such as Mobile Safari on iOS. The extension supports most of the core animation and illustration capabilities of Flash Professional, including vectors, bitmaps, classic tweens, sounds, and basic scripting. So to actually install it, you're going to have to use the Adobe Extension Manager CS6. And here it is on my screen right now, and you can see that I've installed this already. Basically, you just go File, Install Extension, and then Browse for the extension. When you do this, you're going to have to have Flash Professional CS6 closed. The extension cannot be installed otherwise. Once it's installed, you can access it by going to Window, Other Panels, Toolkit for CreateJS. You might think it's under Extensions, but it's actually under Other Panels. And then here it is, the Toolkit for CreateJS. And it's got some basic settings here. For instance, we can choose to loop the timeline or not. We can also choose a number of export settings, such as browse for location to export. We can determine where images, sounds, and our JavaScript libraries will be stored. We can choose to include hidden layers, export HTML, and compact shapes. So it's very simple in its execution. So let's preview this animation within Flash Professional first. So we'll go to Control, Test Movie, Test. All right, so basically the cliff comes into sight and the little ball goes and animates through, right? So what happens if we try to actually publish this through the toolkit for CreateJS? Well, we hit Publish. And basically, we don't get a whole lot. So you can see nothing's really happening. And the reason for that shows up in our output window here. So it gives us a number of different warnings mentioning that tech support is limited, motion tweens are not supported, you must use classic tweens, and it gives us some other warnings about frame numbers starting at zero instead of one, things about text fields, and gradial gradients. So a lot of different warnings depending upon the content that we have. You'll notice in my timeline, I do in fact have motion tweens going on. So this is why none of this content was actually exported properly. So what I've done is I've got this project here, CreateJS underscore fixed, in which I've taken care of some of that. So for instance, I have translated the motion tweens into classic tweens right here, because classic tweens can be used with the CreateJS framework. I've also simplified things a bit in terms of the messaging, since the code to click and play again actually doesn't work in this case. So using these same settings, let's hit publish. And you can see the animation go. And it's not as smooth as it was when we were using a motion tween. But you can see here, if I right click, that this isn't Flash Player at all. Let's F5 to refresh the browser window. So you can see it actually works quite well. We can author this content in Flash Professional and export as HTML, CSS, and JavaScript using these libraries. So let's have a look at the source code for this. If we go to view source, we can see that this is the HTML document that was created for us. It's typed as doc type HTML, which is HTML5. And then we have the framework libraries included up here. So easel.js, tween.js, timeline.js, ease.js, and movieclip.js. This last one here, create.js underscore fixed, you'll notice that's the same name as my FLA. So this is actually a representation of the FLA itself. Inside of my script block here, we declare a canvas, a stage, export root and lib, and then upon an initialization, we set canvas equal to document.getElementById canvas, which of course points to this canvas element with an ID of canvas. The width and height are the same width and height that we defined in Flash Professional for our stage, and we also inherit the background color. So this is the canvas 
that all of this stuff is going to be drawn into. So this is using Canvas to do this stuff. And then it goes through and actually initializes the stage and sets a ticker, which is basically our frames per second, so it's our timeline. And it just runs. If you want to have a look at any of these files, you can do so. I'm just going to open up this one right here. And we can see the sort of JavaScript that it outputs for us. So here are a number of representations of different symbols and shapes and so forth. So we can see how our shapes are created. So this toolkit for CreateJS is hugely useful if you're targeting something like iOS in the browser, or you just need to do a little animation. You don't want to quite rely on Flash Player to do that sort of stuff. Keeping Flash Player and Air for the heavy lifting, things that JavaScript, HTML, and CSS really don't do as well as Flash Player and the other runtimes do. So this has been an example of how to use the toolkit for CreateJS within Flash Professional CS6.